Hello, and welcome to the app presentation of Beatles Restaurant. You have the code available on GitHub. You, the URL is available on this video. So you can assess in there and see how it was done. So to start, I'm going to present the scenario. Here we have company one and company two. Each company has three tables. So I'm going to walk through and see the changes on the app based on the location. To start, I already have the Bluetooth enable on my phone. So just enter into the app and wait for the beacon. So take one of the beacons on the table. I hope that is going to be this first one. Company one, table one. So I will just click on waiting line and see what table he take it. So was really company one, table one. Now I'm going to walk with the app to another tables and see what happens. First Next one is table two, he take it for me. I'm going to the table five. Let's see, table five. If I return to table two, he takes the table two again. And if I go to the table one, he takes the table one again. You see, I can return to other table and take again. Sometimes take more time, okay, there's a delay, and they're too close to each other, so sometimes it takes a different beacon. But now I hope you're going to be this table too. So, now I'm going to another beacon. Since I'm connected to company one, he's not going to take the table three for me, because it's from another company. So, I'll just go back to the beginning and hopes, hoped until he takes the restaurant too. So he takes for me, okay, I wait in line, table three. Now I'm going to table four, and take the table four. Okay, wait, sometimes there's a delay, so we have to wait. And usually we don't change beacons all the time. Usually you take one and then you stay on that. You don't change too much. Table four, okay. And in my case also, I send information to the web and I take it back using internet connection from the phone. Now, table six. And the same thing, if I go to a table from another company, he's not going to take it, because it's from a different company. So he's requiring information, you see the connections in there, but he doesn't take it. So I go back to the six, and I can go back to the table three and take it again. Or go to the table four and return to the table three and basically is like that so you can use the beacons to make contacts to your apps it's simple like that you just range them and you make information about them and then you can program your app to use this context information and make the user experience even better. Thank you for watching. I hope this is useful for you. Bye bye.